Hello, in this video I'm going to answer one of the most common questions that people ask me every single week, which is, is there enough work for driving instructors? All the time people email me and they say, I want to become a driving instructor, but I'm not sure if there's going to be enough work. Are there enough pupils? Do you get enough people coming to you to make it worthwhile? The very fact you're asking that question means that you don't understand what you're doing and you're going to fail. Now, this video could turn into a very, very long video if I'm not careful, <laughs> so I'm going to keep it as short and simple as I can. But let me put it like this. Lots of people think that you become a driving instructor and that's it. You just do your three exams, you pass your part one, part two and part three, and that's it. Right, well, once you've passed your part three, that is the beginning, it's not the end. You just become a driving instructor. What you need to do is learn about business, okay? Because it's people who have business skills that survive. Being a driving instructor is almost irrelevant. But right? if you're just a driving instructor, you will never survive as a driving instructor. You need to wear many different hats when you are a driving instructor. So, for example, you need to be not only the person out on the road teaching, you need to be a website designer. You've got to have a website, you're never going to survive. You've got to be able to do social media, make YouTube videos. You've got to be on places like Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, TikTok. All of these things are things you need to do. And when you're asking the question, is there enough work? It's as though you're expecting the work. It's just going to come to you like people are just going to find you and learn with you. It doesn't work like that. Even if you go to a driving school, I can promise you, you will not just go to a driving school and be given work. It doesn't work like that, excuse the pun. Even when you go to a school, you'll still have to generate your own work because they still expect you to, even though you're paying a franchise fee. And I know this because I've worked at two different national schools and if you say you're not getting enough work, they'll often just say, well, what are you doing to get it? And you say, well, I'm paying you a franchise fee. And I say, oh, well, no, you, that's for your car and for a bit of advertising. But you've still got to do the work yourself. You've still got to get the work yourself. And I've worked with many instructors who have come to me from many different schools and said, I was paying a franchise and I didn't have the people in six, seven, eight weeks. It's very common. So you see, the thing is, when you ask, is there enough work? Is there enough supply? Well, yes, because the question you're really asking is, do people want to learn to drive? Yes. But the real question is, do people want to learn to drive with you? And I've got a whole series of videos I could make on this, but the way I'll put it quite simply is, what makes you different to everyone else? Why would anyone choose you instead of the other 500 instructors within a five mile radius of where you live. If you look at where I am in Birmingham, if you search for driving instructors, there are so many dots come up on a map, it just looks like one big dot. There are instructors everywhere, and there are also people who park everywhere in stupid places, like this van on the right, and I can't see a thing around it, so I'm going to have to creep really slowly here. I just can't see around this van. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, don't park on the corner of the crossroads on the, on the pavement. But anyway, what makes you different? What's your USP, your unique selling point? And please don't say, well, I'm a driving instructor. That's not a unique selling point. But people say, well, I'm fully qualified. So is everyone else. Well, I'm, I'm better. Well, the bloke down the road says he's better. The woman up the road says she's better. What's your unique selling point? And I'll promise you this now, 99% of driving instructors haven't even got one. And that's why they fail. So when you talk to instructors who will tell you, oh, you know, I did this job and there's no work. There is tons of work, right? Look at how many people. And I'll tell you something I, I said a while ago now, and I always find this funny, this was over 10 years ago, and it still makes me laugh. A driving instructor asked me, firm yet but he wanted to become a driving instructor actually and he asked me is there enough work and I said to him well 
we allow these to test centres are fully booked for months? And he said, I don't get it. And I said, well, think about it. The driving test centres are fully booked for months. And he said, I don't get it. Does that mean there's any work? Can you not see what I'm saying there? The driving test centres are booked for months ahead. And he couldn't work out from that whether or not there was any work for driving instructors. So I hope that's helped you to some degree. There's tons more I could say on this and I have thought about making a whole course on how to succeed as a driving instructor without doing it the typical cheesy way like most people tell you which simply doesn't work. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. But as always check out my other videos for more help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon for more videos.